Welcome back. Another day, another month, another cocktail video coming at you. All right, so today my staff uh, wanted to ask me to make a drink. They wanted to challenge me a little bit. You know, a little stump the boss situation. They wanted me to make a Bloody Mary because they know it's not one of my favorites. And uh, I'm one to rise to a challenge because um, little do they know that my great-grandfather started the Treadway Inns back in the 1920s. And somewhere around there, uh, maybe it was in the 1930s, I'm not sure when he invented this, but he created a, uh, his version of the Red Snapper, which arguably is uh, the predecessor to the modern day Bloody Mary. Um, his, uh, you called for a nice gin, and then some Worcestershire, some pickle juice, uh, lemon, you know, the whole, the whole works. So we're going to get going right away, make this, uh, his version of the Red Snapper. So you got to have a, a good gin, um, to, to get yourself started. A couple ounces of the good stuff, a little Bombay Sapphire in there. There you go. Um, then, uh, Dasher Worcestershire, of course. Whoop. Dasher Hot Sauce, um, I got, uh, this... <laughs> Harry Potter themed uh, hot sauce for some reason, um, but it's gonna get the job done. It's actually real spicy. Um, ew, just a little bit of that. Um, then some pickle juice, just a little half ounce. I uh, ran out of the uh, kosher dill, so I got these Rick's Picks Mean Beans. So, oh yeah, a little bit of that's gonna do great. It's gonna be kind of a salty component. Then uh, some fresh lemon juice. Oh yeah, nice and fresh. Um, and then again, this was in the like 30s, I think. So they didn't, they couldn't spend money on tomato juice. They didn't have V8 back then. So his recipe calls for a little bit of ketchup. Just squirt in, you know, I don't know, a couple, a couple ounces of ketchup in there. And then his secret was to add a little zest. You actually add a little mustard too. All right, oh, I just need uh, just a little bit, a little bit of mustard. I'm actually wearing, this is a, it's my grandfather's tie with like little whales on it, pretty awesome. Cause you know, making a drink for my great grandfather. All right, so now we just need to ice and shake this up. Here we go, guys. So it's going to be a little bit sludgy, but that's okay. That's why I serve it with a nice big straw to really get all the good stuff in there. You're going to want to garnish it up something nice. Um, if you have like an olive, throw an olive on there. I just have the nice lemon wheel right there. So I got this nice uh, bamboo straw. It's nice and wide because you're gonna, it's a little, you know, cocktail's a little thick. All right, guys. So uh, that's my great grandfather's version of the Red Snapper. April Fools. Ha ha ha. Um, <laughs> the only true things about any of this is that. A gin Bloody Mary is a, was called a Red Snapper and arguably came before the Bloody Mary. Uh, this is my grandfather's tie and my great-grandfather did create the Treadway Inns. But I, I, to my knowledge, he did not serve whatever this abomination is. Um, if you had a keen eye, you noticed I only put a splash of sapphire in because I didn't actually want to waste it on a drink that, wow, I'm not going to drink. Um, but there you go. A little bit of lighthearted fun for you today on April Fool's. Gosh darn, don't we love it. My staff, actually, that's one more truth. My staff did put me up to this. Um, speaking of my staff, they are out of work and we really love, um, a little, a little bit of love from you guys. So, um, one person on Instagram today said that she was going to treat nights that you know, a normal week that she would go out, Wednesday nights and nights she would go out. So 
She's throwing uh, money in the tip jar, spending as much as she would if she went out and making herself a drink. So I think that's honestly it's such a nice and awesome idea. And if, uh, if that can spread, wow, that'd be amazing. Cheers, guys. Bring you a, another cocktail tomorrow. Tomorrow's will be actually be a real drink, I promise. Cheers.